Hi, this is Sue from the Mountain Canary Company. Ed's going to talk to you about a piece of history. Go ahead, Ed. Hi, folks. Thank you very much for coming by again. Um, last week, a couple weeks ago, rather, I uh, got a, found out a lady was moving out of the area. And she got a hold of me and asked me if I was interested in buying a pack saddle from her. She had no room to take it, um, and she had no room to store it. And she offered me a deal I couldn't refuse. So I walked over and took a look at, here it is, it's a, it's a Phillips pack saddle. A Phillips pack saddle, original Phillips pack saddle. Original Phillips pack saddle is made for the United States military. They, uh, they're, they're really interesting. They, they evolved out of the, the leather bag sticks and so forth of the Aperero, which was the, which was the, the uh, go-to type of packing for the, in the West. So, now, if you, this, this is a basically an exostructure skeleton type of thing. This saddle's been v used very heavily, okay? Now, um, it's got a patch on this side. They painted it, it was painted red. And on top of this, you can see the number E2, the E2 on it, which could have been an engine company, a fire company. So I bet you this ended up in the Forest Service, and I bet you this ended up being used by the Forest Service to haul through on some of their mules and so forth. This originally showed up, this pattern originally showed up in 1924. This is a 1950 cargo version. There were a couple different versions. One of them was for cargo, it was heavier, and another type was for the cavalry, which, which traveled with the cavalry. So they, 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 kicked, they had their own pack stock that ran with them when they ran on a fast campaign. So, but I bet you this one ended up in the Forest Service and the firefighting end of it. Pack probably putting it on their, their pack mules. Now, <clears throat> and painted red kind of gives me that idea too. And it's, it's a mess. It's not much there. I, no way would I use it. The underside of it is really all chewed up, moth-eaten and um, mouse eaten. You can see how the big pads were made here. This was the pack saddle. This whole thing was a pack saddle. Now if I swing Sue over here to the other side, you see here, honey, how this all, this all padded in here? And it's all quilted with pieces of leather. <coughs> pick how, it up, pick it up and let's see the underside of it if you can. <clears throat> You see, it's all pretty much chewed up under there. <coughs> it's heavy, I'll really tell you, heavy. The, this thing weighs every bit. If it weighs an ounce, it weighs 65 pounds. So <coughs> we'll get to that in just a second. But how 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 this thing is arranged is it actually comes apart. Um, this is like a quarter breeze over the top of the pad to protect the pad. You can see here the pad and riveting through a leather pad, <coughs> and uh, this is the this is the uh, the, the padding. Now, this comes apart by just taking these bolts off, one on each corner. Of the, of, so there's four bolts total. Then this bar comes off. This this lifts up and comes off. And underneath this pad will be access to the big pad. Underneath this uh, this sacrificial piece here, like a quarter breed, will be um, will be access to this to this. Uh, uh, quilt this uh, heavy pad underneath it. Then you can move, if you've got an animal soaring up, what they'll do is they'll go in and you'll open this up, take it apart, get in there, and they'll have a kit and they'll pull some of this padding out. This is like a horsehair padding type stuff. It's, it's not what they originally used in, in 1924, but it's very similar. And this is a wool back material. Moths love the heck out of it, so they're nice, but <clears throat> they'll pull it to make a hole around where the injury is, is happening, and then they'll put that back on. Same thing they did with the apparatus. That was the advantage of that. Then they'll put this thing all back together again, push it back, and they'll put on the animal and there'll be a hollow spot there where the sore is. And they'll, this, there'll, be a, there'll be a blanket underneath here so that this doesn't go directly on their backs. But this is a pretty interesting piece of business. Back on each corner down here is, is a nub. And it, within that nub, 
is also they're like like feet. So you can set this you set this thing right straight down to the ground. But when it was you're tying on, they use these nubs to tie on. There was this completely different way. I got a book in here in the house. A completely different way of tying these on, say diamonds and so forth, than you would on a regular like a crossbuck or a decker. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Like I said, there was a lighter weight version for the cavalry, but this was cargo. So the United States military cargo meant heavy boxes of ammunition. They may, may have meant cordless rifles. They may have meant litters with guys on them. So this thing is built hell for stout. The horses they put and mules they put these on. These at this time were seeing mostly mules. That mules were raised in a in an area I think Nevada. There was a remount station there, and they bred really good quality jacks to really good quality Morgan mares. And they had a standard animal that they used for the pack animals, standard Morgan mule. And it's pretty pretty special. So I had a chance to pick this critter up, but I said, well, what am I going to do with this? Well, you know, it's not often you got a chance to get your hands on one of these and take a look at it and actually take a real good look at it. And um, Normally, you're quite a distance away, so the price was, was really wasn't very much at all. Very was right. I grabbed it. Now I got to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> but um, so whenever I get, I hear this argument from some guys who are kind of elitist in some form or another, where they get an argument going, well, I don't want a Decker pack saddle. It's too darn heavy. I want my lightweight sawbucks. Well, that's nice, but. <clears throat> You know, when you look at the F overall weight of your, your your saddle and your and your your rigging, you got to kind of calculate it, that into the cargo load. But there's a world of difference. There's no, they're very close. There's not enough to not enough to get your nose out of joint. But go pick this Hummer up. And they've loaded these guys. So there's the idea: is the tool was as important or more important than the thought of the uh, the weight of it. So I thought I'd have a chance to run that by you. There's this is a pretty interesting thing. I I've been sitting there drooling over it and trying to figure out all the where's where's and why where's the where's and why for they hung they had special racks they had built for these. They'd come off the sides and they'd load them up with cargo. They'd load them up with all kinds of stuff. Um, really pretty pretty amazing. Um, but this is the first time I had I had a VCR years ago on how how to use these, and somehow I must have loaned it to somebody and, and I displaced it, so misplaced it. So there we go. So I can't really get into the fine tunes of it as, as much as I only have to go by what I remember. Well, folks, that's another bit of adventure here to show you a, a different idea how how and where we've come from at times, and there's a lot of interesting parts about this that can be can be reinvented in some ways and used. The padding concept was very important, the way it was shaped, shaped to the animal. These were, there'd be a name on an animal normally and a tag on it. And that way you use this, this, this wore in fit to that individual animal. So as you go, as we go on and you see me messing around with some of my, my packing systems, some of the concepts that have come out of these kind of saddles, I've tried to incorporate. Okay, Sue, we don't want to add anything to that. This thing was so heavy that it'd take two men and a boy to pick it up. So <laughs> that's, that's the other thing. Now, cavalry guys were r running around oh, a little over 140, 155 pounds in weight. That was it. They don't want any heavier than that for cavalry. Packers, they started about 100, about 185 pounds and up. You had to be a, you had to be a real meat eater to be a government packer. And uh, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> I'll eat meat, but I've never been, been that way. Okay, folks. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. And we're real glad I had the opportunity to share this with you. Remember now, ride off as you can. Please, please, ride safely. We'll see you all.